Just received state help surveying flooding damage from a storm earlier this month. KTRE's Avery Gorman explains why they say it's important for residents to report damage if they have it. On May 11th, residents in Nacogdoches woke up to high waters throughout their neighborhoods, and many homeowners experienced damage to their properties. Today, the Texas Emergency Management Recovery Response Team assisted the city. They helped survey damage citywide to homes and businesses. Michael Self, Emergency Management Coordinator for the city, says Tedem found 21 homes destroyed. 30 had major damage, 20 had moderate damage. One apartment unit also counts as a home. They reached out to us and offered this service to come in and look at the damages to see how much damage was done in hopes that the city would qualify for a small business administration uh, low interest loans for the citizens and the business owners here in town. Self says it's unlikely the city will qualify for assistance from the federal government. Another way citizens can receive help, the city would have to have enough damage to qualify. But if they do, each business and homeowner could apply and qualify to receive low interest rates on federal loans to make repairs. And this was the one option that we saw that was out there to allow folks to get a loan to do this at, because of the high interest rates that are out there now. Steve Bartlett, director of public works and city engineer says once the water receded, the city found damage to storm drainage pipes across the area. We found at least 11 of our storm drainage piping networks have been damaged to severely damaged. The most expensive one we're already estimating is probably $400,000 worth of work just to replace it. He says there is no line in this year's budget for repairs to storm drains. Self says it doesn't matter how much damage you received, it's important to to report. Avery Gorman, KTRE East Texas News 9. Now to report your damage, you can scan the QR code that you see there on your screen or visit the big red box on our website, ktre.com.